Hello friends. So today I'm going to be sharing with you guys a very typical spring day. This was a Saturday or Sunday, I can't remember, but where I spent some of the day kind of tackling gardening tasks. Me and the kids were weeding and cleaning up debris and all sorts of things. And then we went and planted some flower seeds into these little flower planters and I can't wait to watch these kind of grow and bloom because they're already starting to sprout and then I share with you guys a look at how I kind of clean up and get our car all looking good and ready and the items that I use in my car to keep it pretty organized and clean as clean as it can be with three kids and two adults enjoy Can that one be mine? you're being like bluey this one. Okay, I'm gonna put that one in here. Can't put that. All right. This one be mine. These are all exposed. What just happened? I get the metal and you guys get the sides. About that. Okay, so make sure those are all covered with soil. It's not soil. Soil is dirt. But mommy said she's gonna put in the real soil. Real soil is also just dirt with nutrients in it. Okay, I finished with my side. No, you didn't. Oh. He's adding more. <gasps> Okay, then we're gonna guess what we're gonna do now. Once you guys are all done covering those up, we're gonna cover it with this organic container mix. I'm like it. No. Yeah? Yeah, I think that's I finished. Oh yeah, you have those little All right, ready? Here we go. This is beautiful. Do we have to put it out? Yep. And here is a look at all of our flowers we planted. Look at them all sprouting up. They look so good. They're gonna be so pretty. And then our little succulent garden. And then the other one. I may, obviously that one's blooming a lot more. I don't know if it's based on how we planted. I may just move this box over to where that one is. Maybe it gets more light. I'm not sure. We'll see. And then these guys are trying so hard. I've had some bees coming in. This one is producing a little bit more of these. But it's looking a little sad. I need to add more fertilized soil to that and get all that stuff out. But these are trying to bud. They kind of started to die, and now they're trying to come back. All right, and then I've been noticing that this gets a lot of shade in this corner, and I have our playhouse here. So I think I'm gonna move it there. That's where we used to have the playhouse out here before. And I want it to be a little bit more shaded, and then I'll move this all over here. You know, full disclosure, I am like, I don't even want to post this because I'm seeing all of the imperfections of our lanai right now. We need to paint. We need to finish cleaning off the screen and everything. This used to be screened in and we took the screen down because it had some damage from a storm and it was just going to be pretty astronomical to fix. And we just figured, you know, let's just take it down and see if we even want a screen. 
we really have enjoyed it because the screen was kind of blocking the wind from coming in and now we get a nice wind in our lanai uh but yeah i i'm tempted it's like oh i just want this all to be <laughs> you know pressure washed and painted because that's on my to-do list but such is life and this is the reality is that your house may look imperfect and that's okay so it made me feel so good to just clean it up i hosed things down i uh, cleaned off the cushions letting them dry off and the space feels so much nicer now that it's just clean and i really liked moving those things around so as you can see here i kind of move on and i go to clean out my car and here i'm using our shop vac and then i have this little extender that we bought that is amazing um, i will link it below if i can find it Okay, so I just got done cleaning out my car. I wanted to share with you guys a couple things I keep in the car. I don't know. I find these videos helpful and super inexpensive and just a couple things I have on hand. So I bought this tote last year during summer and I think I paid like $8 for it. So it has been my most favorite tote for the back of the car because I can also utilize it. Like I can take these things out and then utilize it for a bag if I need one. Okay, so in here I have a bag of extra clothes. I have a little rain jacket just in case, like a parka. And then in here I have a couple different first aids. So take this if we're going like on a walk or hike. I've got some extra insect repellent, some wipes, a bigger medical kit. And then this one just has extra band-aids and stuff in case I need them. Okay, so a couple things I typically keep in here, but I just am washing them because they were in here for a bit of time. Um, and I had to check the sizes is I typically put in here uh, some extra underwears for all kids. And then I usually have a wet bag with a swimsuit and rash guard so that we have those just in case and I usually put a towel. Like I said, we've used those things so I am washing them and then I'll replenish that. But I didn't wanna to wait to make the video you know, until I did that because <laughs> I might forget. So I just put this right there. If I ever need this seat, cause we have two seats back here. If I ever need this seat, I just take it out and then I put it up front or I take it out of the car completely, super easy. Okay, so I had $10 to spend at Bell's Outlet because I am, I was about to lose those um, rewards, so I spent those. I got Polly a new bathing suit because she needed a bit of a size up from one of the ones that we had gotten her earlier this year, and she already is, you know, she just grows like a little weed. Uh, but this is one of my favorite little suits. She has two other ones that are similar to this. Same brand, Jessica Simpson. Then I got this picture frame, which is really pretty. And I'll show you the print that I got as one of my Mother's Day presents um, that I'm going to put in there. And then in here, we just have some velvet hangers for my husband's closet. Oh. I can lift that and then I got I really have wanted to get some of these melamine 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 am I saying it wrong uh, so I got some salad plates and some kind of dinner plates they're just plastic I thought they'd be fun to use out on the lanai this summer for barbecues stuff like that and I just love the kind of Florida print 
All right, this is the print I was talking about. Um, I got this from one of our art festivals. It is Jennifer Vod Vado, Vado um, art, and I'm gonna put that in there and then put it back where it was. up here and then I'm gonna switch this out maybe next week to like a summery garland but that looks pretty and yeah and I thought I would just pop these little moments into this video um, during this little break we had a wonderful trip with my dad and my sister and my brother we got to go to the UF baseball game my dad played as pitcher for UF, University of Florida, in the 60s. So here we are just enjoying the game, and it was so fun. It was really neat to kind of go through the campus, too, um, and hear about all of his little memories and moments. And then we also got to celebrate with my dad here, Mother's Day with my mom, and it was really wonderful to have him and my brother and sister here as well and this is just a little shot I loved all right I hope you guys enjoyed this random get it all done with me video if you like these kinds leave me a like and subscribe and we'll see you next time